Martha was distracted with much serving. Luke chapter 10 verse 40 Martha's fault was not that she served, for this is the desired condition of a servant in every Christian. I serve, should be the motto of all the princes of the royal family of heaven. Nor was it her fault that she had much serving. We cannot do too much. Let us do all that we possibly can. Let our head, heart, and hands be engaged in the master's service. It was no fault of hers that she was busy preparing a feast for the master. Happy Martha, to have an opportunity of entertaining such a blessed guest, and happy, too, to have the spirit to throw her whole soul so heartily into the engagement. Martha's fault was that she became distracted with much serving, so that she forgot Jesus and only remembered the service. She allowed service for him to override communion with him, and so presented one duty stained with the blood of another. We ought to be Martha and Mary in one, we should do much service and have much communion at the same time. For this, we need great grace. It is easier to serve than to commune. Joshua never grew weary in fighting with the Amalekites, but Moses, on the top of the mountain in prayer, needed two helpers to sustain his hands. The more spiritual the exercise, the sooner we get tired in doing it. The choicest fruits are the hardest to rear, the most heavenly graces are the most difficult to cultivate. Beloved, while we do not neglect external things, which are good enough in themselves, we should also see to it that we enjoy the living, personal fellowship with Jesus. See to it that sitting at the Saviour's feet is not neglected, even though it might be under the misleading pretext of doing him service. The first thing for our soul's health, the first thing for his glory, and the first thing for our own usefulness, is to keep ourselves in perpetual communion with the Lord Jesus, and to see that the vital spirituality of our religion is maintained over and above everything else in the world. Amen.